Can you take that? Mm -hmm. It's a nice one. Look at that handle. Mm -hmm. For a dollar. This is cool. I kind of want to get this. Nevco Japan. It's two fifty though. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's pretty rad. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, here we go. It would need to be cleaned really good. This is what Tammy needed. Jack's beer. You get it either way. We'll get it. Look at that. You remember these? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're dated 1995. Any cool mugs? That one's cool. That Protonics one is cool. Protonics is what I use for my stomach. That's hilarious. Oh, there's another one right behind it too. Yeah. How much are the coffee mugs? Yep. Getting them. Yep. <laughs> Those are cool. Isn't it interesting what you said that the stuff was? Yes, the nurse flipper. Oh. Sub branded? It's got little dinosaurs all over it. Top rack, dishwasher, 1998. Watch out. Oh, it's the washer. There's a cabinet open behind you. Don't. Okay. Zena, did yeah. you see those? Could you work in those? No, I don't think so. No? They're nice. Yeah, There's a brand right back there. The... Lacrosse, so they fit me. What are these? <gasps> Look, they're like little single squirt yeah. packs of Purell. That's cool. That is cool. I've never seen that before. Are you able to hold hold some things for me? What I am holding. Why you got your sleeve all dirty? Probably need to already make a trip to the thing. What do you think of this? That's cute. It's got the weevil wobble bottom. Yeah. Oh. Got it? Here. I thank you. Please come back. Guys, here's my biggest squirrel moment of the entire estate sale. I looked at all this Department 56 thinking it'd be great, and then Zena says, Look at this Gotham pool table. And I walked away. Oh, that's cool. You should see this. It's Gotham. Pool table with folding legs. Gotham is the brand? Yeah. And look, it looks like from the 50s or something, or 40s. I don't know. No, that's that's really cool. 60s, that's super cool. Oh, they're not old. 
And now for my second squirrel moment. KSA Art Within. This is Kurt S. Adler. These ornaments can be very collectible and some can be very valuable. There's five here. I looked at it thinking it looked cheap and left them all like an idiot. Oh. Are these for those over there? Yeah. Well, those oh, are all. Here. Oh, okay. I was going to say most of that stuff says Department 56, but those don't. Yeah, I think so too. That looks cool. Anything in here? Okay. Ready to go up? Yeah. Oh, there's stuff outside too. Oh. Sorry. Oh my gracious. Oh, I would need a lift chair for these too. Holy crap. I know, that's why there's a lift chair. I wouldn't be able to do it either. Look at this. A Barbie wheelchair. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Mattel anyway, so it must be Barbie, I'm assuming. Some old school stuff in here. Here's all the games. <coughs> Excuse me. All of these little baggies of Barbie clothing and accessories were priced at a dollar a bag unless otherwise marked. That first item you saw me pick up was a McDonald's uh, like employee uniform for your Barbie doll. And then I picked up this little baggie here, and inside of it, you'll see me try to look closer at it. It's a little Happy Meal with a drink on a tray, so I figured I'd buy those and pair them together. Here's a very cool little Pizza Hut outfit. Also grabbed that one. There were some little slices of pizza in the bags of accessories that I could partner with that as well. Guys, I'm about to pick up this little black and white cape or jacket. It looked really old, which is why I picked it up. I did purchase it. I've tried to identify it and I have had no luck. So if you have 
any tips or tricks on how I can identify it better, please let me know. Um, it does not have a Barbie tag at all, so I don't know. It may just be homemade, but it is very well made. Okay, so this is the last little bit of footage that I have. This estate sale was very, very busy, and this room was very small. Um, I don't do well in cramped spaces with lots of people. It was like four or five people, but it was enough that my anxiety kind of started to shoot up, so that may be why I stopped filming eventually. I chose not to pick up any of this camera equipment because without being able to test it, I don't want to take the risk of it not working and having to sell it for parts or repair and making little to no money on it. We both really thought that these bookends were really cute. It's a caterpillar, the head and the tail. As you can see there, the head is attached upside down, but we thought that added character and made it even cuter. We put this in our toy booth for about $25, and we're hoping that someone else will think it's just as cute even with the upside down head. Hey guys, Jessica here. Just wanted to round this estate sale out with a little recap. Um, here's our receipt. It was a short one. We weren't there real long. It was very busy. We spent a whole $19, as you can see there. Um, the two mugs that we bought, the Protonics mugs, uh, we paid a dollar for both of those. They were 50 cents. I have them both listed for, I believe it's $12. Um, you guys saw I put, uh, the Nurse Flipper's name up in the video. She's the one that we learned about medical advertising items from. They're not huge money makers, but sometimes they are, depending on what they are. The mugs, you're looking at probably $10 or so, but at 50 cents a piece, we're not going to pass that up. So that was very cool. Um, her link is down in the description. She does some really awesome videos where she does, uh, like, research videos. She'll go into eBay and choose a category, and she'll start, she'll uh, sort it from highest sold listing to lowest, and she'll show, like, the top 10 or 15 items. We've learned so much from her by watching those videos. They're quite amazing and you'd be shocked at some of the prices that some things go for. So definitely go check her out. Like I said, uh, description, uh, her link is in the description. So check that out for sure. Um, I wanted to show you guys, this is the little dress or cape. I'm not sure it only has one little button up here. This is the one that I can't identify and I'd really like to. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see the stitching in the collar is a little like shaky. It kind of weeble wobbles around. So that's what makes me think possibly it may just be handmade. But the rest of the stitching is really nice. It's a nice fabric. So if you guys know anything about Barbie clothing or Skipper or Fran I think it's Francie is the other one. Please let me know if you, uh, I mean, I tried Google Lens. Nothing. It pulls up similar houndstooth patterns, but... That's it. So let me know. I, I, I don't want to sell it too cheap and kick myself in the butt later. Um, here's the little Pizza Hut top. It does have a couple of stains, which I didn't see at the sale. Here's two little Pizza Hut cups that I found in the accessory pack. And there's actually, I actually have four of these little slices of pizza. So I'll just put all that together. I'm going to try to get those stains out and then I will group those together on eBay. Here's a little... McDonald's top. It's just the top. There's no pants. The um, Pizza Hut came with pants, but I'll have to double check online and make sure that those pants do go with that. And here's the little Happy Meal. I think the Happy Meal is so cute. Has a little thing on the bottom where you can clip it to her little arm and sh she'll carry it. So, but let me just lift this up. I laid all the little accessories out on this little tray. There's like Quaker oatmeal and fruit cocktail and green beans or yeah that one's green beans orange soda bottle a big bottle of water and some little single size bottles of water just really fun stuff some more soda cornflakes this is all like dollhouse stuff I don't think this was Barbie but I'll lot all of this up together and sell that as one little lot uh what else did we have we had the little Pocahontas cup that was for me, one of the biggest shockers of the sale. Little plastic Pocahontas cup. 
I was gonna put it in our booth for like three or four dollars. I just thought it would be cute and an easy quick flip. Uh, when I looked it up on eBay, I was shocked. I don't know if you guys paid attention to those sold comps, but one was an offer on $18.90, and the other one was a sold at like $14 or $14.99. I listed mine at $16 because there are only a couple of other listings, but they're listed with a matching plate and saucer or plate and bowl, something like that. So I put mine at, I think it was 16 and I already have a watcher. I've sent out an offer on it. We'll see if it sells, but. Um, and then we also had, oh, the little green bowl. That was a Quaker oatmeal bowl with the dinosaurs on it. That sold like right away. I listed it and it was sold. I woke up the next morning and it was sold for, I think, $10. So that was a good, quick, random thing to pick up, but sold. And then also the little pink and clear Tommy Tippy cup. We put that in the booth and it sold almost immediately also. It only sold for $3, but we paid 50 cents. So for that quick of a flip, I'll take a couple bucks. Um, let's see. Oh, there was a hat that you guys didn't see. It was like a vintage painter's cap and it said more across the front, which is a city here uh, near Oklahoma City. And it's uh, more lions, like a uh, more lions is one of their high schools. And it had a lion on the top of it. So I threw that in our booth. I figured that would be a great, easy local flip. Um, the bookends. How cute are the bookends? Yes, his head is upside down, but he's still super cute. Um, we'll see. Hopefully somebody else thinks they're cute too. Um, and then the boots. The boots were... Uh, I was very tempted to keep those boots. They are over shoes. You pull them over your shoes. They're like uh, galoshes, kind of, with the metal buckles across the front. Um, those sold within, I think it was about a week. And I, I had them listed for 46 or 42. I can't remember. But I accepted an offer of 39 So uh, they were marked $8. Everything was half price. So we paid $4 and turned it into 39 Takeaway fees, we probably made... $30 or so. I mean, not bad. So all in all, that was a great sale. It was very busy. It started to wear on the both of us. So we didn't stay too terribly long, but uh, that sale was run by one of our favorite estate sale companies here in the area. Uh, they are called Bird Nest. I probably shouldn't give away our secrets, but we love going to their sales. They're amazing people. They're very kind to us. And, um, we just like their style. They're they're just really cool people. So if you're in the Oklahoma City area, look up Bird's Nest on Facebook or um, on estatesales.net and uh, check out some of their sales. It's worth your time. So, well, that's about it, guys. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out. Please make sure that uh, you subscribe to the channel. Um, there will be more videos like this coming up. I have um, another Bird's Nest sale that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I have a ton of footage from it. They've had this huge sale uh, last week and then again this week. I did go back today, so I have a lot of footage to go through from that. Um, it's going to be an awesome video. Um, and I also have some more Ben's footage coming up. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will know when I drop videos. And uh, if you would also like this video and leave me a comment. What was your favorite thing that I found? Uh, are you upset with me like I am for leaving the Kurt S. Adler ornaments and all of that Department 56? So ridiculous. I can't believe I did that. I feel like a ding dong for that, but it is what it is. You know, squirrel moments are what they are. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, like I said, please like, subscribe, comment, and please share this video with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for being here. See you guys next week. Bye!